What's up, y'all? I'm still here. <laughs> I had a pretty bad accident, man. It was it was pretty bad. Cowie's not here though. Cowie's gone. The Cowie's totaled. It was uh it's pretty crazy. And uh sorry I hadn't you know been posting a lot. I'm coming up on like my second year of YouTube. And I want to keep doing it. I just, I had so much crazy stuff happen to me um, during the winter. Like, main thing is my grandpa died, who I was really cool with, and um, just super cool with. He taught me a lot, and uh, that was that was pretty hard. And um, but yeah, I, I want to get back to YouTube for sure. Um, yeah, I'm pretty messed up. Broken collarbone. It's completely split. Uh, I don't know if you can see the bruising. I got my neck right there. Collarbone sucks. Like, it just, it's so painful, man. Like, I can't hardly move around. I can't hardly turn my neck. <laughs> Waking up in the morning is the worst. Waking up in the morning, like when your muscles have settled and like this is like settled into place and then you wake up and you start moving it and like it, the cop, like the bone literally like pops out of place. Oh dude. It's like, it's like I'm, like I had an amputation or something in the morning. It's so crazy, but, uh, they did give me some really good pain medicine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, it just sucks, dude. I don't know how long I'm not going to be riding, like, it just sucks, dude. Like, I'm just looking outside right now, it's like 73 degrees, just beautiful. <laughs> and my ninja's gone, but we still got old red. <laughs> old red has got me through some times. When the, when the ninja was down, I literally just sat on it in the driveway and I was like, dude, this isn't that big of a deal. I put my hand on the left handlebar and I was like, I could probably go ride like a mile. And I was like, nah, <laughs> I better not do that. <laughs> yeah, man, the wreck was brutal. It was brutal. It was one of the scariest things I've ever had happen. One of the scariest things. Yeah, dude just went down in front of me, man. I guess he's a newer rider. I don't know what happened other than the truck may have spooked him. And it was like, it's so crazy. It was like in slow motion, I'm like, dude, he's going. I think he's going off road. He's going, like he's gonna, he's going down. Yep, he's gonna crash. He's, yeah, he's gonna crash, he's gonna crash. And then it was just like, damn. I immediately, you know, started slowing down. And I was going to pull off. You can't see there's a road like 300 feet down the way that I was gonna pull off on, but. I don't know what to do behind me. I don't know what happened, man. He had to have been looking at the guy going down. Just, man, he just, he hammered me. I think in the police report, he said he was doing about 70. And I think that's accurate because, dude, this is just so crazy too, because I, I don't know, like getting hit from behind, like when you don't, you're not expecting it. Dude, it's just like, like he hit me so hard. Like I'll try to slow it down, but dude, he hit me so hard. It like just like knocked the bike out from underneath me. Like it just, and to where I was just like, I felt like I was just flying through the air. That's how, like how hard he hit me. 
and like the video doesn't do it justice, but like, dude, him hitting me, like, I don't know, like, what it like gave me more like inertia downwards. Like, I just the video doesn't do it justice, like, how hard I slammed the ground right here, like, dude, like, it fucked me up. Like, and the last thing you hear right there. But yeah, the last thing you hear, that's my helmet slapping the pavement. Slap hard. And then dude, ugh, dude, dude, the other guy, he's so messed up, man. He's just like, he's in, he's in really bad shape. He hit the guardrail in this video after he passed, after he hits me, there, there's no more footage. GoPro came off my helmet, but he hits the guardrail. Like six hundred, five, six hundred feet down the road. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened, man. Like, it was just so f scary. Like, I picked my, I, I think I slid like a hundred feet. And finally, came to a stop. Obviously, I came down and just collarbone broken instantly. Helmet, like you can see my helmet. One second. I'll tell you what, guys, this helmet means a lot to me now. It's a. Uh, yeah, came down, I, and I must have came down like just kind of like this. You can see the helmet, like the, it didn't shatter, the, it didn't crack, like. But I just that must have been the initial impact because that's deeper than the rest of this. But yeah, like I, I, I came down with my head like almost backwards, and like but my hands were still down, and it gave me really bad whiplash. And like I said, as I was picking myself up off the pavement and like trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. I, I was just like, I was so out of it. And like when I finally, it was like starting to come out of like <laughs> this like just dizziness I had. Once I started to regain consciousness, I heard like, <laughs> dude, the most horrific screaming I've ever heard in my life. And I'm looking around and I, it's just like, I'm looking around and I see a dude's bike down behind me and I hear the screaming and it's coming like up the road where we were going and I thought it was a bystander just freaked out by what happened and I, I finally look over and uh, it's a dude that hit me and he's just laying on the guardrail. Dude, it sucked, man. It really sucked. I took my helmet off. I really, I don't know how I did, like just pure adrenaline. Took my helmet off with a broken collarbone, threw it down, and like just, just went and sat in the grass, man. Tried to call my mom and dad. I called them like five or six times a piece, and I had no signal. But luckily, some bystanders stopped. And, uh, Yeah, I was like, do you have a phone? I can call my parents. Like, I have no signal out here. And luckily her phone picked up and people that stopped and helped me were really cool. They were really cool. Like I kept falling over. Like I kept, I, was, I kept like, I kept like nodding out. Like I was going to pass out and they were like, Hey, stay awake, stay awake. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And like, I don't know if it was the girl's sister or what. She came and sat behind me and like, she was sitting back to back. So I wouldn't, you know, just fall over. I was like, I kept looking back at her. I was like, I hope I'm not crushing you. <laughs> She's like, no, nah, you're good. But yeah, they were really cool. They got me like four or five water bottles. I was so thirsty. And just, yeah. We had a pretty big group that day. We had like seven, eight, nine people. And you know, my buddy, he doubles back. He was in the front, the faster guys, you know. And huh. Did he hit a car or did he lose grip or what? Yeah, I'm gonna blur it out. I don't wanna show any of that, but just that's where he ended up. And, you know, we're down the road a ways. This is my buddy. And, um, you know, he didn't know what happened. Dude, he walks up to me right here and he's like, dude, you okay? And I'm just like, dude, I like don't even know he's talking to me. Like the lights are on, but like nobody's home. <laughs> like that's how out of it I am.
And he's just like, dude, you could? And I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I didn't tell you guys that that's my uh, brand new Dionysi jacket. <laughs> and dude, it just, it sucked, man. Like, I was starting to love that thing. It's a airframe, D1 airframe. Yeah, dude, paramedics chopped it up. There's a little bit of the, on my shoulder. So it burns it up a little bit right there, but um, yeah, I look over. I should have took my jacket. I took my helmet off. I don't know why I didn't just take my jacket off too, man. And uh, dude, it's just the what the people that are helping me. Like her husband had this like little Yorkie that I was like, talking to to like try to regain some of my sanity. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the paramedics finally get there. I I didn't even know at the time, but the dude that hit the guardrail, he was airlifted. He was airlifted out of there. It was so bad. And uh, paramedics come over to me, you know, and he's get, getting out. He's looking at my jacket and stuff, and he's like, hey, man, how much do you like this jacket? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I like it quite a bit. I just got it. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I... I, I, I took my attention back to the dog and I, I hear snipping and I look over and he's just cutting it off me. <laughs> and I said, I said to him, I was like, oh, that's why you were saying that. <laughs> Everybody started cracking up, but I was laughing, but I was kind of dying inside too, because this is a badass jacket. I hopefully I can get another one. Like that's what this all comes down to, man. And like why I wanted to make this video. Like, you gotta be really careful who you're riding with. Um, Cause, uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, I mean, this wasn't my fault. Like, I got hammered by somebody that wasn't paying attention and it was a newer rider and just, you really gotta pay attention to that stuff when you're out there because I'm, my riding style is going to change dramatically. Like. Like this isn't gonna stop me. I'm gonna get back out there and do my thing because uh, these things like change my life for real, for the good. Love it, and um, yeah, this isn't gonna stop me. But my riding style, like I said, is gonna change, and who I ride with. I just be careful when you get out there in these groups, because I, I, I was with two people, one in front, one in back. You out there getting out there with these big groups on these highways and stuff, like a, unless you're just <laughs> an absolute assassin, like some of these guys, like you know Crash Test and Will Kid Hill and just Knuckles and all these guys that are just badasses on these bikes. Like, not that you know that stuff can't happen. Like they can make mistakes too, but you know, and they would admit that. But you know, they're they're dialed, and I just. Be careful when you get out there with people, some of these kids that don't know what the fuck they're doing. They pick these up and act like they're, you know, toys. And, um, yeah, it almost killed me. You know, you gotta, you gotta respect these things, man. You gotta respect these things. And like the 600s are fast and stuff, but like, the leader bikes, they're just hyper fast. Like there's no room for error. But anyway, man, yeah, that's just, be careful who you get out on the road with on these. Yeah, just, <laughs> this sport's so dangerous. This sport is so dangerous, but I love it. Yeah, this helmet, uh, I'm getting another one of these HAC i10. You know, I, I talk about this in other videos, how much I like it. 180 bucks. It did its job, man. HJC, if you guys are looking for a helmet. 180 bucks. Anybody, you know, starting out can get one of these. I just, 
Like I smacked my head hard on hard on this man. It didn't crack. Straight. But yeah, this let's go up on the shelf. Let's go up on the shelf. As a reminder. Oh, let me show you my jeans. Oh man, you guys know I go on about Raven. These things held up, man. Yeah, I went down like I said, you know, you guys saw in the video on my left side and Dude, the knee pad just totally, totally protected my knee. I may have shattered my kneecap if it wasn't for these, but you can see the Kevlar. Hopefully you can see it. Perfect. Nothing wrong with it. Burnt up. Burnt up on the thigh. Yeah, this was all on my left side. It was crazy. I'm probably going to still wear these. I mean, they look kind of cool now with that. Um... I'm probably gonna still wear these. I love these. They look so badass and just got a little bit of mud on them. But these are these will probably be on the road this summer. Yeah. Make sure you're wearing Kevlar, man. If these were just blue jeans, my shit would be fucked up. <laughs> my knee would just be scraped off. My thighs. Who knows what kind of road rash I would have had there. Oh, what else? These were the gloves I was running. Dionysi, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but I love these gloves. Um, it's crazy, man. I went down to my palms and slid, and I always wondered about these gloves sliding on pavement, and uh, they're straight. There was a little bit of, I don't even know if this was from the wreck. That's the only thing I noticed is a little bit of the leather scraped off. Hopefully dude's okay. Last I heard, he's getting a lot of surgery and uh, he's stable, but I don't know if he's gonna ride again. I don't know. I don't know, man. But yeah, I, uh, so cool, man. Like uh, I ride with some really cool people out here. They all showed up at the hospital. It was really cool. They uh, they went with my dad. They all went and scooped my poor bike up out of the street and uh, brought it back to the house. And it was just, I told him I was like, man, that was really cool. You guys doing that? It's one thing about this sport is you meet really cool people. You you make really cool friendships for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in this sling. Like, I feel like I'm getting stronger by the day. You know, I'm doing light workouts. And as you guys know, I, I like I run marathons and stuff and it just sucks. I haven't been able to jog, but I've been getting out and walking at a slow pace. Just trying not to lay around, you know, but yeah, it's, Broken collar, like <laughs> this bone has to mend back together, and uh, I, hopefully it doesn't affect me permanently. The doctor said, "No, you, you should be good." You know, he's like, "You should be good." We used to put, he said, we used to put people in these horrible contraptions <laughs> that like kept your body straight and everything. But he's like, "We learned that it'll heal on its own." Yeah, it, it sucks. <laughs> so, right before spring, this had to happen. It's just crazy, man. But I'm not, I'm not gonna let it get me down. I, I'm when I was when he hit me and I went to the side. I was like, uh, I, I honestly thought I was going to die. Like, I thought that I had like a s split second, like, of thinking, like, as I was, like, about to hit the ground, I'm like, man, I'm dead. Like, this is it. And just the burning of my chest when I went and sat down on the side of the road, like, 
I thought I had internal bleeding and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. Um, yeah, this is the impact on, this is the impact area. I didn't get a really good picture of it, but yeah. Back left fairing. I think he just tried to swerve me at the last second and he, like that is not from the bike going down, that's him hitting my fender. And he must have just clipped it and man, he was going so fast that it just, I, I didn't have a chance. Yeah, he, it just blew that frame or that fender all to pieces. Yeah, I, I don't really know what else. Like I said, I wanna I wanna get back to YouTube. I've been slacking. Coming up, I, yeah, like I said, I'm coming up on. This will be my second year starting YouTube, I, and uh, I really like it. I like talking to people, especially other riders. Yeah, bike the bikes total. So we'll see. See what I get next. Yeah, I, I, I really don't know what else to say. This this isn't gonna stop me. I'll be back out on the road soon, and um, <laughs> we'll get back to making videos. I miss it. I already miss riding. It's crazy. There was a split second when they loaded me up in the ambulance. Not a split second, just... There was a few minutes in the ambulance when they loaded me in there. And I was just like... <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this anymore. And I remember getting so sad in the ambulance, because... I was just like, dude, this wasn't my fault, man. Like. I don't want to quit riding, but I don't know if I want to keep doing this. Like that was really, that was really, really scary. I don't know, I don't know if I want to get back out on one of these bikes, but I got out of the hospital and I was like, <laughs> I got out of the hospital, I was like, man, what the, f what the fuck are you thinking? You're not going to ride anymore. Yeah, you are. <laughs> we'll be back out there. I'm going to get healed up. Um, I might do a follow-up video, see where I'm at, but as soon as we get the new bike, I'll be cranking out a video, show it to you guys, and then we'll get to work on some videos, breaking it in, and uh, be safe out there this summer. Be safe. <laughs> Let's all be safe, because it, it's fun until it's not fun on these bikes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm probably going to go take a few more painkillers and lay the, lay the fuck down, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll talk to you guys later and, uh, see what happens.